today I am making baked smothered chicken. So my chicken is already clean and washed really good, plugged, no feathers or nothing like that. So I'm going to season it and I'm going to come back. Okay, I seasoned both sides. <clears throat> I didn't fold my chicken, you know, to like a little parcel. I don't know. I didn't feel like doing that. But I'm going to add just a little bit of water in the pan because I like both sides crispy. So I got my oven set to 375. So I'm just going to add just a little bit of water in the bottom of the pan you don't want your chicken to burn and try not to get water oh I just did it <laughs> water on the chicken because you don't want to wash the season off like I just did right there so that's all the water I'm going to put in my pan I'm not going to cover my chicken up like I said I want it nice and crispy so when I make my gravy with the chicken stock, uh, it'd be thick, whatever. I don't know what I want to say with that, but um, I'm going to add my gravy in there once my chicken is halfway cooked. Now I'm going to turn it on the other side so that I can get a little bit crispy and then I'm going to start my gravy. I need to coat this, put some juice on the top of it so it won't look so dry. might look dry because of the season but it's not dry. See my gravy juice in the bottom. I'm going to add my flour and the water to thicken it up. It's going to be super good. Okay, so my chicken is done the way that I like it. So I'm going to take the chicken out the pan so I can show you how to make the gravy from the juice from the chicken. So I have the chicken now. As you can see, all the seasoning and stuff. So I have a measuring cup of flour. If you can see it, so I'm gonna mix this into this bowl with water, stir it up really good, and then I'm gonna pour it into this. So I have a cup of water, so you're gonna need, and I'm gonna stir this up really good. Make sure you get a nice little smooth mix so you can have a nice um, gravy. So, it's all smoothed out. Make sure you have no lumps in it. If you need the lumps in there, you're going to have lumps in your gravy once you pour it into the pan. So, pour it in there. I think that's about how much I want. Stir it up. What I normally do is do this. Put the pan back in the oven. Without the chicken. Or you can put it on top of the stove. So the gravy can. The flour can thick up with the, um, the juice. I think I'm going to pour some. I'm going to pour all of them. Oh, I should just go ahead and put my chicken in there now. So the more juice can come off the chicken, it'll thicken up. If you want, you can add more water to it. But I'm not. Because I don't want a whole bunch of gravy today. So... I'm going to place my chicken. I think I'm going to go ahead and just put my chicken back into this. And then just put it in the oven because it's too much today. And plus I'm trying to watch the game. So 
I'm gonna put my chicken back in here and I'm gonna put it in the oven. Okay, so I put my chicken back in. So you have to watch it once you put your chicken back in to keep watching your gravy. You can take your spoon and just keep going in between to you know stir up the um the gravy if you want and you know really smother your chicken, but this is crispy, so I don't want that to get soggy. So uh, I guess you put it back in there for another 20 minutes or so. And then just check on it. You know, whatever how you like your gravy. Dark or brown. It's going to come out like a nice little brown color. So. This is it. How you make your um, smothered chicken. Baked chicken. And this is the finish product of it. I did end up going to add more water because I'm like, oh, I did need a little bit more gravy. But that's it.